Okay, Lauren, how you doing? I've got your work up here. Looking fantastic. Really, really looking fantastic. I do have a couple of comments, though, and some of it has to do with your writing. So, um, first of all, you're working hard, obviously. That's fantastic. The work is out. It's just outstanding. Uh, I'm really digging the, the direction you're taking it. And, no, and the way you're pushing yourself and the way that you're, you're considering typography and visual placement and visual harmony and, and hierarchy. And, and you're, you're really showing that you have a good uh, understanding of the design process itself. And I'm, I'm most impressed. Thank you. Keep up the great work there. Um, let me see the date placement. I don't see it as a problem. Now, listen, I also I opened up the PDF because, you know, scrolling like this, you can't always see things. I'm so glad I opened this PDF because I'm seeing things that I couldn't see without scrolling. That's why I love zooming out on a PDF so that we can see things that we wouldn't normally see. So let me talk about the date. I think the date's fine. I do. Let me just see if I can. I think the date is right now that my issue with the date is it's, it's a little large. This, this type right here is a little large and it's competing with this type. And just the only reason it's competing is because it's, it's taking up about the same space. Therefore it's giving equal hierarchy. Therefore the viewer is confronted with the situation of, of where does the designer want me to look first here or here usually we tell them if you decrease the type size here a little bit you're telling the viewer you want them to look here first um so the type is fine i think you're looking a little too much into the type now oh the, another thing i want to say about the type is you're too close right here to basically a no print zone and that is right on top of that right margin you don't want to be that close to the margin um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is that you, you, you were saying that this isn't playing well with the glove and there's a, this thing called continuation and it's, 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 a, it's a series of gestalt principles associated with design. And those principles pretty much indicate that in a nutshell, it's, it's saying that we, the mind will figure it out. It'll figure it out. You may think because you're on top of it, staring at it, but when you place the, the type over this glove right here, you're thinking, oh, wow, it doesn't work. It interferes. The mind figures it out. The, the mind knows there's an arm back there. We know it. So don't worry about that too, too, uh, too much. I don't see it as too much of a problem. I would, uh, let me see. Yeah, this is fine, center aligned here. But again, it's just, it's too large, entirely too large. Okay, um, the, now a couple of things that we're seeing here, and I'm seeing the placement of the guy, and I, he doesn't look centered. And I think that's throwing us off a little bit. Now, depending on where this pattern lies, is it dead center? Do these rays uh, uh, kind of come from a central axis? And is that axis on the center of the page? If it is, it looks like that is right about here. If it is, I recommend placing him on that center too. And the reason I say that is because this isn't necessarily something that the, the conscious mind picks up, but the subconscious mind certainly does. And that's where these rays are or the origin of these rays from his head they're not equal therefore that's telling the mind that something is askew and something cert certainly is these are not centered up okay so that the center of that uh that um pattern right there should fall basically right between his eyes and that's going to make everything symmetrical and even so we wouldn't have this kind of ray coming out of the bottom of his ear where this one is coming out the top of his ear. Does that make sense? I hope so. It's pretty important. I know it seems like I'm nitpicking, but I'm really not. It all has to do with consistency. Now, um, now we take a look at the thought bubble itself, and I think the thought bubble is, it's 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 not shaped right. Right now you've got the, the, the letters are coming right up to the bubble here on the top, but you got all this space on the bottom. I would equalize that a little bit push push the thought bubble up to give equal distance this other than that i think that's fantastic let's get that thing so so watch your alignment i guess in a nutshell is what i'm saying okay you also talked about a type treatment extrude 3d extrusion wasn't working the way i wanted it to and i in a way i'm glad because hand rendering this the way you've done is you're going to get superior results 10 times out of 10 than trying to use any kind of bevel emboss, any kind of extrusion or 3D tools. Um, 
uh, digital 3D tool. They just, unless you're in a full-blown 3D program, they, they, they rarely work. Even Photoshop's 3D text tools just don't, they, they just don't really work very well. Um, and well, I shouldn't say they don't work very well. They work okay, but they're so recognizable that, I mean, you can spot, it, it's just superior to, to, to do this manually than to try to extrude those letters using the, 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 the program. You don't want to do all this work and then have one generic kind of type treatment where anybody in the field is going to look at it and know, oh, yeah, bevel and I'm an emboss, or, oh, yeah, you use this command here. Do you see what I'm saying? That's not a situation you want to be in as a designer. You know? Okay. Um, other than that, I, you're looking really fantastic. I kind of want to zoom in here. Just right there. Okay, I think he could use a little more contrast in the face area, especially here. Could this guy use lips? That's my question. Could he use lips? Right now, I'm going to say yes, and the reason is because, right, as we zoom out, it kind of looks like it's just like it goes from the bottom of the mouth to teeth, and that's exactly what it is. As I zoom in, we can see that maybe he needs the addition of some lips or something just to kind of reinforce that that mouth area which kind of just looks like a white band going across like he's been drinking milk right <laughs> all right so um a fantastic job those are my recommendations if you have any questions at all please let me know thank you